so we need to take this message seriously and pray. Amen. On the 3rd of September 2017, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, gave a prophetic message urging saints and intercessors to pray against pain, suffering, and humiliation in the life of Jacob Zuma. These were his words. I saw in a vision President Jacob G. Zuma seated on an elevated chair, the chair of his power and authority. All of a sudden, an east wind came against the chair he was seated on and rocked the chair. The Spirit of God says only divine intervention can save his rulership from being rocked by a very serious crisis which may le lead to an unceremonious exit from power. The Spirit of God is saying, as intercessors, we must watch and pray so that the person that we are talking about does not experience pain, suffering, and humiliation in the near future. The near future that I'm talking about is 2018. Look at your neighbor and say, pray for President Jacob Zuma. Because what may happen to him, it may affect you. Hallelujah. What they decide today in South Africa, it's, an, it's a massive country who, whose activities they affect Zimbabwe directly. We have got millions of Zimbabweans that side. Hallelujah. Much as we as foreigners, we can have all sorts of attitudes against Zuma because of the media. One thing which we cannot take away from him is that he has got a good attitude towards foreigners. Hallelujah. It has been during his dispensation that, I mean, people were given permits and so on. Because there is no person who has got only wrong things to them. Hallelujah. Because look at your neighbor and say, if you reject me because of my weaknesses, you are also rejecting my strengths. I have therefore come to the decision to resign as President of the Republic with immediate effect. Even though I disagree with the decision of, my, of the leadership of my organization, I have always been a disciplined member of the ANC. I saw in a vision President Jacob G. Zuma seated on an elevated chair, the chair of his power and authority. All of a sudden, an east wind came against the chair he was seated on and rocked the chair. The Spirit of God says only divine intervention can save his rulership from being rocked by a very serious crisis which may le lead to an unceremonious exit from power. The servant of God, Pastor Ian Love, urges saints and intercessors the world over to continue to pray for South Africa's former president, Jacob Zuma, and for the peace of the nation of South Africa. 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 says, First of all then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. May the Almighty God bless you.